Hello, it's me again, Timo. I don't get it. People always ask me why I'm sad and I don't know why. You know, uh, people watching these videos uh, see me and they think I look sad or people I meet on the road or the last time I met with my father. After a couple of minutes he, uh, and that's a conversation that happens from, happens from time to time, uh, he looked at me and said, okay, come on. Now tell me what's going on, what's wrong. Nothing's wrong. No, really, what's, what's going on? You can tell me everything. Why are you so sad? I looked at him and I'm in a good mood. I'm, I'm really in a good mood and I was. I was not sad at all. But stuff like that happens all the time. Actually, you know, one time I went to the movies with a friend and we sat down and while sitting down I had a thought just for a second and uh, I sighed. N not, not a sad sigh, just a, you know, just a memory sigh. Uh, it can be a good memory. I, I don't really remember what it was. Anyway, I was sitting down, I sighed and suddenly everybody turned to me like, oh my god, what's going on? And the woman next to me, total, total stranger, never seen her before, offered me her popcorn to cheer me up. Which is very nice. <laughs> she seems to be a very nice person, but I was not in a bad mood. I was not sad at all. But really, everybody around was looking at me. I don't get it. <clears throat> anyway, if you want to know how I look when I'm sad, that's it. Because today I am sad, and in the last video I was sad. Uh, I had a very bad day yesterday and it's still affecting me, so I thought I'm going to indulge, I'm going to cheer myself up and not make another SOTA video, but I'm going to do a video on a fountain pen I've been wanting to ink up for a long time. One week. That's a long time in that case. And that fountain pen is in this case. And it is a... Duke fountain pen. Well, why am I so desperate to ink this one up? Well, I wouldn't have uh, waited one week if I really was desperate. But um, And why is there such a big box? Actually, the answer is inside. When you open up this box, there's another box inside. And I can't read Chinese. Um, pretty sure to know what this means actually what this means 14k the crown logo two Chinese characters the first character means gold I know that one the second I don't know but I assume it's uh, nip which is a different character in, in Japanese so I think I've never seen this one before um, I suppose it's 14 karat gold nib, and that's what it is, and that's why I bought this pen. I already have one 14 karat gold nib Duke fountain pen, the uh, leader, um, and I really love it. I like it so much that I wanted another one, but uh, the Duke leader has, I think, a German nib. I'm pretty sure about it. I, I think it's a German nib, definitely. And this one has a Chinese nib, a genuine Chinese nib. Okay, let's open that up. It says Duke again and out comes some plastic wrapping with a fountain pen inside. And that's, you know, you never know what you get when you when you buy Chinese pens uh, from, from eBay because, especially Duke, most uh, Duke pens are good, some are fantastic. Some are very small. They look big on the on the photos in the auctions. But when you get them, I have this one. It has a really nice nib, but it's so small I can't can't write with it. Okay, this is the Duke D16 APEC Minister um, meeting limited edition fountain pen with the number 4632 I think they've only made 
five or ten thousand of these. I have no idea, but it's limited, and the number there is four thousand six hundred thirty-two. Um, kind of weird. I'm surprised positively by the size. It is not small. This is a Lamy Safari. In comparison, the Safari is only a tiny bit bigger and has a bit more girth. Uh, but all in all, this is a decent size pen. Okay, let me show you the details. I haven't had a closer look at it myself. There's um, a reflective, I really don't know yet how to do that, a gold reflective plate on the end of the blind cap that is black and shiny, followed by two gold rings and then the really nice whatever the material might be it feels nice not plasticky and it is beautiful if you ask me and then we have the cap and the cap says i hope i can read that on the screen duke germany um what does that say ah I have to look at it Looks pen <clears throat> 2121 one. whatever. Duke um, Germany Lux pen, um, that's because uh, Duke Lux officially was a German company until the end of 2011, um, not far away from where I live. Um, I even went there to see if there's still anything left from the Duke company. but. It isn't, and I, I suppose it's always been a uh, letterbox company, we call that in Germany, I don't know how you call that, but I think you know what I mean. Then uh, we have the typical Duke clip with the crown logo, as always, and uh, number 4A32, was it 4A32? For 632 it's hard to, to read on the monitor and it says Shanghai there I have no idea why I think Duke is not in Shanghai I, I have to look that up and um, even if they are in German in Germany no, I don't know why Shanghai I have no idea at the end of the cap we have this nice how am I going to make this focus Duke logo it's really nice, isn't it? And I see it says something there as well. Oh, it says Germany once again on the clip. The section looks nice, feels nice. Yeah. Black with this, uh, I don't know how you call that. Um, Okay, and then the most important thing, there we have the nib. Uh, in one of the last videos, I think it was the bookworm video, I told you that I don't like this nib design with the rings. Many Chinese pen manufacturers do this. Um, but hey, it's a 14K nib and for this price, why not? It says, yay, I like that, 14K. 580 instead of 585 yeah always wanted to uh, wanted a nib like that and it also says Duke one more look and yeah okay this pen comes with a standard Chinese converter you can disassemble this one very easily I like the ones with the metal cap because they are um, easier to disassemble and to assemble again. And it has this uh, spring uh, thingy in there to improve uh, or to, to, I don't know the English word, to make the ink not stick to uh, this upper part of the ink reservoir. Never mind. <laughs> okay, all in all. I think this is a very nice pen. It looks very nice. It looks really nice. Come on. One more time. That's really nice. 
size wise it's a bit small uh, let's compare it to the oh, let's just do it like that you can see uh, when it's uncapped it's a lot shorter than the safari and it is all yeah it is also uh, also sorry it's also thinner but that's okay feels good heavy for the size very nice pen i'm looking forward to see how it performs which i'm going to do in a minute see you Duke D16, 14K nib. I just noticed the barrel is slightly translucent. You can see bits of the converter, um, but not much though. I always forget to test whether a pen can be posted or not. This pen can be posted very securely actually, but it gets very, very top heavy and I would not recommend that. I'm a bit surprised now. Hmm. Okay, the line is uh, between fine and medium. I thought it would be thicker. The pen is smooth. Really, it is, and it is it is smooth in every direction. So the tines are aligned properly, and this is a smooth nib, an above average smooth nib. Um, but it's not spectacular. It's not really fantastic. Um, it's just an ordinary good nib. What about line variation? because that was the strength of the other Duke 14K nib I have. That one was very springy, uh, just like really, it, it feels like a small M1000 nib. This one, on the other hand, prob probably, oh, probably, <laughs> what a damn word. Please change your words to accommodate Germans. <laughs> no, uh, we can't say squirrel, I've heard. Can I say squirrel? Never mind. Doesn't matter now. Uh, there is a tiny bit of line variation. I mean, tiny. Yeah, it's it's not that bad, but actually, it's nothing. Um, I would never call that springy or flexible or really a tiny bit. Not much. Hmm, wetness. This looks rather dry. It's a bit difficult to get an even patch of ink. Three, two, one, dry. Okay, you can make this or I can make this uh, nib wetter. Um, so that's not that much of a problem. But it is very smooth as it is now and I think the nib is just the way it's supposed to be at the moment. Skipping. I am not a fast writer and therefore I will do this retarded test. I know this looks very stupid but it's a way to find out whether a fountain pen skips or not and this one is okay um, there's no problem with skipping there's no problem with starting um, <clears throat> okay it's just not that fantastic I mean it's a 14k nib uh, the material allows more springiness I think but the shape uh, of the nib these kind of nibs aren't really known uh, to to open up that well uh, I think it's just because of the shape and thickness um, I'm a bit disappointed, uh, the last 14k Duke nib was so fantastic, really, really great. And this is just an ordinary nib. It is smooth, but 
It is smoother than a Lamy Safari, but considering what it usually costs, I paid uh, 45 euros for this one in an auction. If you uh, buy it, um, you usually have to pay, I, I'm not quite sure, about 60, I think 60 euros shipped. Um, this is, of course, not very much for a 14k nib. Uh, you can get 14k nibs for less money, money, but it's hard to find them. I think, I think the Hero 100 has a 14k nib, and that's a bit cheaper. Uh, well, I can't think of any other 14k nibbed pens with such a low price right now. But I would not spend that money again. I would rather get a nice uh, second-hand uh, pen or get a nice pen with a uh, steel nib. Unfortunately, I can't think of anything. You know, for 45, 45 euros, what can you get for 45 euros? If you spend a little bit more, you can get a Pelican M200 or an uh, Aurora Y or something like that. Kind of difficult. Well, if you have any idea which pen would be better for, let's say, 50 euros, please tell me, put it in the comment box, and I will just buy it and test it. <clears throat> because I have too much money. Now, if I had too much money, I would have an M1000. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, I can't think of anything else to say. Um, this, I think, was definitely helpful this time. Um, see you later. Goodbye.